Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And today we're gonna talk about those three important Bluetooth settings that you might or might not know about on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now, just so you guys know as well, this will also work with the S8 and the S8 Plus. Now, the first one I wanna talk about is one that we've covered from the very get-go when this phone first came out, which is something referred to as separate app sound. Now, the important thing about separate app sound is it's a way that you'd be able to do two different apps at the exact same time, but the audio source, one of them comes from the Galaxy Note 8, and then the other one will come out of a Bluetooth speaker. Now, I wanna make sure you guys follow this video along because the very last one is probably gonna be one that you don't know much about, but it is something extremely useful. Now, the separate app sound, the first thing you wanna do is go into your settings on the very top, and then you go down to where it's gonna say the sounds and vibrations. With sounds and vibrations, you're gonna go all the way down to the very bottom where it says the separate app sound. And once you turn this thing on, that means now you're able to play something from a Bluetooth speaker and then another separate app from your phone. Now, where does this come into play? It comes into play is, let's say that you are Bluetooth to your car speaker, but you're on a drive or a long distance ride. You have somebody else in the back or maybe yourself wants to look at Twitter or Snapchat or watch YouTube or anything else. It's a way that that sound comes from here while the music is still gonna come from the Bluetooth speaker inside of your car. Now, when you're gonna first turn this on, a couple different pop-ups will come on up. You wanna make sure that you just read those things through and select the ones that is appropriate. Now, from here, this is where you're gonna choose which app is to be able to be used and where is the source of the audio coming from. So with this very first one, let's just say that we're gonna go with YouTube and there is a bunch of other applications you're also able to choose. With YouTube selected, now, where do you want that audio to come from? So more than likely, this is probably where you'll want it to come from the phone, because then later on, the other application you're gonna use, maybe it's Google Play Music, maybe it's Spotify or Pandora, then that audio is gonna come from your car. So just choose phone for whichever app you want to come from the phone, which right now we have it as YouTube. So let's head over into YouTube. Let's just play a video. One of these is one of mine, and you can hear that this is playing. So I'm going to pause that for as of right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out of here and let's say that I'm going to go into the music. So now I'm going to play some music because then this is what would be playing out of my car. And so let's kind of move this forward just a little bit. And so now that sound, this music is coming from this Bluetooth speaker, which means that as I get out of this, I can head back over into YouTube. I'd be able to hit on play. And so let's say that I'm going to bring down this, this speaker just a little bit. You can hear the music as well as YouTube to make sure that they're safe, that they're stable, and that the read and the write speed is good enough that it's not going to bog down or slow down my gas. There, I pause the music. I'm now still talking on YouTube. I play the music. You do have the one that is and you can still hear it being played on the speaker. So this again is huge, especially if you're with inside of a vehicle, you're listening to music, maybe you're at home or maybe you're at work and your phone is always connected to a Bluetooth speaker. Now you can select your other application you want that can play from your phone so it's not interfering with what's coming out of the Bluetooth speaker. And then to turn this off, if you're just to pull down the notifications panel, you're gonna see that on the very top right here where it says the separate app sound. If you're to kind of pull down that little notification a little bit itself, you can just turn this thing directly off and then now you don't have your separate app sound running. Now this next one is fun and we're still inside of the Bluetooth setting. So this one's referred to as the dual Bluetooth audio. Now this one comes into play if you have a separate Bluetooth speaker. This one right here is from D Knight. This is a Magic Box 2 and this one is Archeer. So they're completely different companies, which means that they will not link up together, you know, through the speakers itself, but through the cell phone, you're able to do that. Now the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and the Note 8 are the only phones that's able to do dual Bluetooth audio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the D Knight Magic Box too. And then over here, I'm already connected from before the A32S from Archeer. Now, all you really have to do is just turn on your Bluetooth settings. I already paired it with the speaker over here. And then now on this side over here, I'm going to find the Magic Box 2, and then I'll be able to connect it with this one as well. And now you have both of them that is connected. There's really no other steps you have to do other than turn on Bluetooth, find each and every one individually, and then pair it with the other one. It's actually super simple. So now that we have both of them synced up with the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, I went over into music and I hit on play. So it's coming out of this Magic Box 2 right here, but nothing coming out of this speaker just yet. So here's the very next step. Go on the very top right hand side, still with inside of the Bluetooth settings. On the very top right hand side, you're gonna see where it says the dual audio. And this is where you turn it on. And then now they're both playing at the exact same time. 
But the one thing I do want to mention is that when you are playing with two different Bluetooth speakers, just make sure that they have the exact same version of Bluetooth. So if you have Bluetooth 4.0 and Bluetooth 4.1, then they will not sync up exactly the same. You want to make sure that they're both 4.1 and 4.1 or 4.0, 4.0, whatever it may be. Just make sure they have the exact same version of Bluetooth and then they will be at the exact same time. Again, if they are different versions, they will be a couple milliseconds different. Now, this very last one is pretty fun and not too many people know about it. It's referred to as smart lock. And so you're able to have your phone unlocked when you are Bluetooth to something. So as of right now, you, you can see that I'm connected to my speaker still, as well as a Gear S3. Now, just so you know, smart lock will work in other instances, but let's move over to where those settings are at so you'd be able to turn this on. The first thing you want to do is go over into your settings on the very top. And then you're going to click on your lock screen and security underneath lock screen and security you're going to go over into where it says smart lock now you just want to put in your credentials to go through the different settings and setup now on body detection is able to keep your device unlocked while it's on you trusted places this one's pretty cool once you go through here you'd be able to set up either your work or your house located through gps so then if you're at home your phone will not be locked or if you want it to always stay unlocked at your workplace you'd be able to set it up as your work so then this way you don't have to unlock your phone because maybe you're getting in it all the time and you also completely trust anybody and everybody there more than likely most people turns on this trusted places for their home so then at all throughout the entire day their phone is locked but the moment they get home they don't have to unlock it because they trust anybody and everybody at their house and then the trusted devices this is the one that we're talking about here which is when you are connected to a speaker or a bluetooth headset maybe it is your gear s3 you'd be able to add the trusted device now i do want to mention if you have this turned on don't forget about it because i had one person who accidentally set this up with their location of their work and every time that they were trying to use their facial recognition any anybody was able to get in their phone i went into their trusted devices or their trusted locations right here and i was able to turn this off and i explained what the purposes of the trusted places was and they turned it off. So let's go through and set up the trusted device and what it looks like. And so right now I do have a pin, a fingerprint, as well as a facial recognition to unlock my Galaxy Note 8. But I'm gonna go through the process here because I'm still connected to my A320S Bluetooth speaker. So right here you can see that I am still connected to that Bluetooth speaker. And all I have to do now is once I hit on my power button, the next time I go back over into my device, I don't have to use my pin, password, um, or my anything else. It just shows, hey, your device is unlocked while connected to the A320S, which is set as your trusted device. Now, if I need to turn this off, you're able to turn it off. There's really no big deal. But every single time now that I come home and I'm connected to my Bluetooth speaker, there is no need to have a credentialing way of getting into my phone, such as a pin, facial recognition, or password or anything else, because I am somewhere that I trust. And then to turn this off, all you wanna do is go to the very top, click on your settings icon, Go down to the lock screen and security, go back over into your smart lock, go through your credentials, click on your trusted devices, go to the very top where it says the A320S, touch it, and then now you're able to remove it as a trusted device. And now the next time I go back over to my device, I will have to go through any of my security options I had to do from before, which is either pin, facial, or the fingerprint. So I hope you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also make sure you guys go below the video, click on subscribe, and you can also hit subscribe right over here and share this video with your friends and family so it can help them out as well too. Outside of that, I will see you guys later.